It's not a stock gun anymore, but I do have a good idea of what the stock performance is like. This is a Specna Arms, or Specna Arms, if you will. Uh, they're really common at the moment over in Eastern Europe, and I know that a lot of wholesalers are selling them off. And I was told, at the time, that they are very reliable and very well made. So I decided I'd take the plunge and take a look at them. And suffice to say, uh, so far, I am pleasantly surprised. So, just go ahead and just have a look in there. The box is pretty simple. What can I tell you? There's just a big sticker on the front of a plain cardboard box. Trademark, Specna Arms. And you'll notice there it says, Enter and Convert. Now, that's to do with the quick change spring system. What I can actually tell you is they very craftily called it the Enter and Convert system because of the actual previous company name, which is East and Crane. So that's where the E and C comes from. And it is literally just a rebrand of East and Crane. Now, the gun itself, can't tell you, is really well quality checked. They have loads of different little stamps here to tell you that it's been passed on QC and all sorts. They even give you a full chronographing. Um, my model here, the B01, whatever you want to call it, it's actually corresponding serial numbers correct, and that's actually legit. And it gives you the chronographing score. So, here we go, let's have a look. 440, 439, 439, 443, and 442. Really consistent, so right away you can tell out the box, the original hop unit is consistent with the original rubber, very consistent. As it happens, I've got them here. Now, as you can tell, standard affair, metal unit, C-clip, spacer, spring, Nylon wheels, absolutely standard. The hot rubber it comes with, actually not bad. Did find there was a bit of grease on the outside, none on the inside, quite clean, pretty consistent, and gave reasonable results for accuracy. Not bad at all. Since I've changed over to a pro wind chamber. Get the usual blurb, cleaning rod, spare spring rated M90, okay, it's about 300 feet per second or so. On a point two, and you get the gun itself. You also get a little lanyard, which is neat, a charger, and a cheapo battery. Not bad. Also a few BBs. Right away, the first thing you'll notice is I don't have a flash hider on mine. I've taken it off. The barrel thread is 14mm. It's negative threading, so counterclockwise, CCW, standard of the industry. Rubber O-ring as well, and there's also a silver cap, so that's actually quite nice. My furniture is not standard. I've painted mine, it's all Krylon. Uh, trademarks on the body, on the receiver, you've got marine trademarks, 556mm NATO and a serial number, so that's all nice. Selector switch, now what I like about this is, not at all woolly, nice easy selection, but pretty firm, quite crisp. Paint job, not bad. The way it joins, okay, the bodywork, believe me, is as good, and I'm not exaggerating here, as a G&P. As good, easily as good as the GNP. It's better than Simon, it's better than JG. Delta ring on mine when I had it out of the box was incredibly stiff. Since, not that bad. Did change the spring in there. Okay, so I can't tell you how the original is other than incredibly stiff. Foresight as well, the A-frame, those pins really hard to get out. Not so bad once they're back in there. Uh, spring change. The manual tells you to just remove your stock undo your castle nut, pull out, and away it goes. Now that's not okay on some of the models, but not on this particular one. Mine was a black model with tan furniture, as you can see here. I've just given it a bit of Krylon, simply because I prefer that on mine. Now, on the back here, Specna Industries, your safe semi and auto, as usual. Dummy forward assist, doesn't actually do anything. It's not like an ICS where it's a spring release. All right, tractable stock, all very standard. I fitted an MBUS clone to mine, simply because I prefer that sight aperture to be how it is there rather than the original carry handle. The carry handle they give you is adjustable for windage and elevation and is actually really good quality. All your rails here are marked at an interval and they are mil they have reasonable mil spec rails. Normal sighting and optics will fit on here, no problem. Okay, one thing I really like, dust cover. And this is what you're really gonna like, it locks, okay? And the bolt release actually releases it. Not bad at all. Now you can tell in there it's a pro win. There's also a Prometheus barrel in here. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> uh, magazine compatibility. It takes Sima, it takes JG, and it can take DITAC really well. So I recommend getting some DITAC magazines. You do have a nice little quick release system here. 
you want to add a rear sling point. It doesn't actually come with one there. It comes with one down here in the stock. I've since removed mine because, you know, they snag quite easily and I never use a sling being left-handed most of the time with an AEG. So overall, out of the box, yeah, works really well. Good range, good performance. Pretty crisp, easy to use trigger. Good response, good cyclic rate, and reasonable accuracy. Nothing wrong with it. After you've given it a few tweaks and a few mods, really not bad at all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with a few more videos pretty shortly.